At Battery Day, when discussing the various improvements Tesla is making to battery cell manufacturing, roughly one minute was devoted to discussing their drastically improved formation process, which makes this process appear somewhat insignificant. However, Drew Baglino did point out that in a typical cell factory, formation is about 25% of the investment. Notice that this formation process makes up one quarter, 25% of the typical cell factory investment. That's a big deal. This is something we need to focus on. While Tesla's battery day presentation was light on details, Tesla was recently granted a patent that describes in great detail this new, much more efficient cell formation process. So let's dive into all the details that this Tesla patent reveals and talk about why this new, much improved formation process is actually a really big deal and is important for the production of Tesla's 4680 batteries. I'm Jonathan, and this is Cleaner Watt. Okay, now let's talk about formation. In a, in a typical cell factory, formation represents 25% of the investment. And what is formation? It's, it's charging and discharging cells and verifying the quality of the cell. Turns out we've charged and discharged billions and billions of cells in our vehicles, so we know a thing or two about that. The typical formation setup is you charge and discharge each cell individually. In our car, we charge thousands of cells at once. And we took our principal and our power electronics, leveraging p power wall, vehicle battery management systems, and others to dramatically improve the, the formation equipment uh, cost effectiveness and density. 86% reduction in formation investment, 75% reduction in footprint. It's no secret that Tesla is definitely focused on vertical integration when it comes to their manufacturing. One of the huge, often overlooked benefits of Tesla's focus on vertical integration is that they have full control on just how efficient their manufacturing processes are because they make or design a great number of the parts that make up a Tesla vehicle. Greater product control combined with Tesla's focus on constant improvement often leads not only to a better end product, but also a more efficient and cost-effective product as well. When it comes to the old methodology for manufacturing vehicles, especially internal combustion engine vehicles, there was a focus on the golden rule of outsourcing. However, Tesla has flipped that on its head and they have shown the huge benefits of having vertical integration instead of outsourcing so much. There are, of course, quite a few benefits of Tesla's focus on vertical integration, but in this video, I specifically want to focus in on the manufacturing cost advantages and also the manufacturing efficiency advantages related to battery manufacturing. Tesla was just granted a patent, which at first glance appears to be an insignificant process involved in battery cell manufacturing, the formation process. But upon further examination, this is actually quite a big deal in Tesla's efforts to increase the supply and lower the cost of batteries and ultimately lower the cost of electric vehicles. While I do believe that Tesla's electric vehicles are worth every penny of their price tag, and you could make a case for them being worth more than their price tag because of all the technology and features built into these vehicles, the truth remains that a good long range electric vehicle, whether that be a Tesla vehicle or some other brand, these are generally because of a higher cost out of reach for many people. Tesla is working very hard to solve this because after all, their mission is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. And to do that, this requires lower cost electric vehicles. At Battery Day, Tesla in great detail revealed their development of their new 4680 batteries. And they discussed many exciting advances in this new, much larger tabless battery form factor. They mentioned that they can drastically reduce the cost of batteries and greatly increase the supply through various improvements of the battery cell and also the manufacturing processes as well. One of the improvements that they discussed involved redesigning the battery factory itself. This should, according to Tesla, allow for a terawatt hour per year battery production output to be possible in a smaller footprint than was needed in the past to produce around 150 gigawatt hours of batteries. In past videos, I've discussed in detail factory and cell improvements with Tesla's 4680 battery format, including the implementation of the Maxwell Technologies dry battery electrode processes, and more recently, Tesla's purchase of the Spring Power International patents that detail a much improved process for making nickel-rich cathode material. I'll make sure that I put a link 
in the video description to some of these videos that detail these technologies if you are curious to learn more about these processes. But in this video, I'd like to focus in on the recently granted patent that details huge improvements to the formation process of the battery cell and talk about why this process is a very important piece of the puzzle that allows Tesla to increase the supply and decrease the cost of the 4680 battery cells. This slide was put up at Battery Day with a picture of the formation system discussed in this Tesla patent. They mentioned that this new process leads to an 86% formation investment reduction and takes up 75% less space than before. These are, of course, really huge improvements to an important part of cell manufacturing, and I believe it's worth a little time and focus to talk about them. First of all, before we dive into a lot of the technical aspects of this formation process and the improvements Tesla is making that are mentioned in this patent, I think it's important that we step back just for a minute and talk in greater detail about the actual formation process itself and what it really is beyond just the simple definition that Drew Baglino gave at Battery Day. Here's how Tesla describes the formation process in this patent. In simple terms, this formation process involves one or more precisely controlled charge or discharge cycles to activate battery materials, transforming them into their usable form. And as I mentioned, can result in the creation of a solid electrolyte interface or SEI layer on the anode, which serves as a passivation layer essential for moderating the charging process under normal use. They also mentioned that this process also helps them identify cells that do not meet the quality standard, which translation means identify defective battery cells before they get placed into the battery pack. Now, when it comes to manufacturing batteries, or for that matter, manufacturing in general, efficiency at every step of the process is really important. Tesla was not about to revolutionize the battery cell format, the electrode manufacturing processes and materials without also drastically improving the less exciting but also important cell formation process as well. Apparently when it comes to the conventional battery formation processes used by battery manufacturers, this process is very inefficient and has a lot of waste. In Tesla's own words, they say such referring to conventional high volume formation systems often require a large number of cables, typically four or more wires per battery cell, take up a significant amount of space, and can be energy inefficient. As a result, the inefficiency from the power electronics and long cables can result in heat rejection to the room, which often requires large ducted air cooling systems and could lead to variations in cell temperature, thereby increasing the chance of error in the formation process. Tesla then goes on to talk more about these inefficiencies by saying, in general, the existing formation systems often exhibit the following characteristics. Large physical footprint, low efficiency and costly power electronics, overly complex clamping fixture, large amount of cabling that wastes energy is costly and reduces measurement accuracy, uses air cooling to transfer heat generated by inefficient power usage, which in turn consumes power to remove heat, takes up space, and is difficult to control without significant thermal gradients, which results in cell-to-cell -cell variation. As I read through all these inefficiencies that Tesla pointed out for the conventional formation process, it became abundantly clear that there is plenty of room for improvement in this process, and I'm really glad that Tesla is focusing in on this. Improving this formation process is an important step to not only lower the cost of battery manufacturing, but to also lower the carbon footprint as well. So we've talked about the conventional formation process. Here's how Tesla describes how their new formation system can improve upon these limitations. This patent mentions that their much improved formation method can reduce capital expenditure of the equipment and supporting facility infrastructure, improve energy efficiency, reduce thermal gradients in the room to reduce cell to cell temperature based performance variation, increase volumetric density of the testers, which results in a number of cost savings in building and support systems, capture the waste heat at an elevated temperature, which allows the dissipated thermal energy to be used for different useful purposes, facilitate hot swappable components, thereby improving equipment utilization and reduce fire risk. Tesla then goes on to talk about how this new process, also because of its efficiencies, allows for a higher volume of cells to go through this process at a time. They mention, 
In particular, a new design of the electrical circuit unit closely coupled with a contact board can accommodate a large number of cells, undergoing the formation process in a densely packed manner. This new process also seems to be much better at regulating temperature during this formation process of the cells, and this leads to less error in this process. Whereas in the old process, variations in cell temperature increase the chance of error in the formation process, Tesla mentions that with their new process, a hybrid cooling system that combines air and liquid cooling can dissipate heat more effectively. And thus, based on my understanding, this much improved cooling system that Tesla uses allows them to have a much tighter control over the temperature of the battery cells during this formation process, which in turn leads to less chance of error and leads to less chance of a cell being damaged during this process. This new process is apparently much more energy efficient as well. Tesla goes on to say, Furthermore, an intelligent formation control system that stages the charge-discharge cycles among different cell groups can significantly reduce the power consumption and required power conversion capacity of the entire formation system. Now, when it comes to what this new formation process actually looks like beyond just the technical drawings of the patent, if you watch some of the cell factory footage from Battery Day and also a somewhat recent YouTube video that Tesla put out, you can see what this stacked cell formation setup actually looks like. So those very tall stacked white racks are the new and improved battery formation racks that Tesla describes in this patent. This vertical arrangement is obviously very space efficient and allows for many of these individual formation units to occupy very little floor space. This process is also very highly automated and appears to be extremely efficient. In this patent, Tesla describes the design of this formation system in the following way. The cell formation system design described above can be installed in a room with high space efficiency due to the compact design of the clamshell structure and the rack shelf to house the clamshell structures. They also mentioned that these shelves can be placed on tracks and be moved as needed like bookshelves in a library. And when it comes to the automation of this system, Tesla describes it in this way. In certain embodiments that utilize an automated crane or robot to maneuver trays of cells without human intervention, valuable floor resources may be saved by reducing the space between the shelves such that only sufficient space for the crane is needed. So as I mentioned, because no human intervention is needed in this automated process, this allows for them to be very space efficient with each one of these sections which hold these cells during the formation process. They also talk about the fact that their liquid cooling system is not only thermally efficient, but it's also very efficient when it comes to space as well. Tesla mentions when liquid cooling is used, the space reserved for air ducts can be freed. As a result, one can save the space reserved for traditional additional access ways or larger spacing between shelves for humans. As I read through other various technical aspects of this patent, I found out that Tesla is using a very genius way to recycle, in a sense, the electricity that is used during this formation process. They mention the ability to use the discharge cycle of one cell group to power the charge cycle of another group of cells, thus eliminating wasted energy during this process. Here's how Tesla describes it. As a part of the initial conditioning process of newly assembled cells, the cells are subject to a number of charge-discharge cycles so that their capacity can be measured. These charge-discharge cycles can often consume a large amount of energy and generate undesirable heat. In one embodiment, to mitigate the energy consumption, the charge-discharge cycles of different groups of cells can be offset in the time domain such that the discharge cycle of one group of cells can be used to power the charge cycle of a different group of cells. Now there are of course a number of other technical descriptions and details that Tesla gives in this patent about their very efficient formation process, but I believe I've picked out the most important and really highlighted the bulk of what Tesla described in this patent. But if you're curious to read the entire patent itself, I will make sure that there is a link to this patent in the description below. So to wrap all this up, while the formation process may not be the most exciting aspect of the 4680 battery manufacturing, it is nonetheless very important and is a very important part of Tesla's goal to reduce the cost of electric vehicles. After all, when a process makes up 25% of the investment of a typical cell factory, this is a very important process. 
Thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. I really appreciate you watching. And if you're not a subscriber, I do ask that you consider subscribing to the channel. And if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did enjoy the video and liked it, please consider clicking that like button because that does help people find the video as well. I'd also like to take a moment to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you so much.